You know, we all hope to raise children who can problem solve and create great relationships. Raising wise children is the topic today on Coffee Group. Welcome back, Parenting Advisor John Calvin, and from Auckland's Ficino School, Peter Crompton. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Wise children. Every time I hear this, I'm like, hmm, mm. wise children. First, John, what exactly is wisdom? Well, it's different from just knowing stuff. It's yeah. not just facts and knowledge. The old phrase is that... Uh, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit and wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. It's taking the knowledge you've got and applying it in practical ways okay. to solve life's problems. But doesn't it, Peter, doesn't it come with age, wisdom? Well, you can't actually teach wisdom as such, but um, we, we teach philosophy at Ficino School. So in that sense, we're drawing wisdom out of children. So philosophy itself means uh, love of wisdom. And there are amazing insights that come out from really young children. So a five-year-old the other day said, uh, wisdom is knowing the good. And then another one said, um, to be wise, you have to be patient. So this is from five-year-olds. <laughs> wow, there's a few grown-ups that could learn a thing or two from them. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Uh, so it sounds like wisdom too, John, is about being humble as well. Well, you can't learn anything new if you think you already know it all. Yeah, and that is so true. Realising that there might be better ways to tackle relationships, tackle life's problems, having an experience and thinking, "Wow, well, what's a better way of doing this?" That's all humility and backing up and having and trying it again in a better way. So, Peter, you've got some thoughts on this as well. Yeah, in our philosophy lessons, uh, the children learn to suspend their judgment and and take a different look look at their own views. Um, they sit in a circle together and they um, they speak to each other. Um, learn to speak honestly to each other and respectfully to each other, which are really important parts of being wise. It's funny too, because children can be quite judgmental and, mm. and stopping that from happening, that must be quite a process as well. Yeah, yeah, they, but they, they do naturally, easily, that's sort of drawn out of them. Mm. They, they, they naturally want to behave respectfully to each other, but they, they, um, you know, they, they, they get caught up with everything they see on TVs and things like yes. that and all sorts of examples. There's screens on a whole yeah, lot of things. Yeah. So how do you bring the fun back into it all? Well, the, the fun really, wisdom is, not, is, is also about um, loving life and living it well. And um, to live it well, this involves engaging the heart. So at Ficino School, we teach um, drama, dance, music and, and art. And these things develop the emotional intelligence. And that leads children to come to an understanding and appreciation of, of the good and the beautiful. Because wow. old school ways, John, thought that teaching those sort of things weren't really necessary, but that's obviously not the case, is well, it? I think people always understood there was great value in doing these things. It's just sometimes you look, why are kids wasting their time doing they things like that? They should be learning maths. They should be doing yeah. their core subjects, but no. Yeah. To, to live life well and to be able to apply that knowledge in other areas, you need a, a stuff like that to actually embed it into your character and into the way you live life. I totally agree. So what can, we, what can our viewers be doing at home to, to teach wisdom to our children? Well, you can't teach wisdom, to bring mm. wisdom into their life, shall I say? Yeah, I think just providing children with a bit of space to stop, to think, to question, and just to be able to explore their ideas and giving them the space to do that's really important. And in, in our busy time, it, it's hard to do that, yeah. but it's mm. worth it. And taking the devices off them? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, a, that's an obvious. What about you, John? What do you I, think? I'd add stories into the mix. Yeah. I mean, you learn so much from experience, but some experiences you don't want to have yourself. You don't want to learn about traffic accidents and things from your own story. Much better you learn it from other people's stories. But uh, great entertaining stories usually teach good values and wisdom as well. And the other thing is debriefing with kids about how they could do things better, uh, especially around their mistakes. So they don't come away just feeling bad. They come away with a plan on how to do things better to next time. That sounds great and also then the children can bring something back to the parents as well and mm. help them be maybe a little bit wiser because a few mm -hmm. parents could learn a thing or two from being slightly <laughs> wiser in some of their decisions too can they? Yeah it's, I mean it's amazing what, what does come out of children and we can all take example from that. Oh, I love that, yeah. sounds great and, and giving them a real vibrant boost for life too mm. and, and helping them think things through. I like it very much indeed. Thank <laughs> you so much for coming on today Peter. John, as always, uh, great you. advice. Now you can go to the website if you're interested in finding out more about Ficino School and its philosophy.